at this morning to Cream Mediterranean Grill. Good morning, Arathi. Welcome to Vocal for Local. Good morning. Thank you for ha having me here. Hey, you're very welcome. I'm so glad you could be here. Um, I mean, this is a restaurant that's been downtown Fort St. John, I believe, at least as long as I've been here, about five years. Um, it's kind of a become a downtown institution. But for people new to town who maybe haven't been in there before, can you tell us a bit about Olive Tree and, and kind of the food you serve and whatnot there? For sure. Uh, Olive Tree it was actually established in 2013. Oh, yeah. So it's been here for more than 10 years now. Wow. Um, we offer, it's a Mediterranean restaurant, uh, which offers Greek food like doners, platters, and salads, and many more other uh, food items. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have beyond Greek uh, food items like taco salads and quesadillas and butter chicken platters. Uh, we do make homemade cakes. We do have some homemade desserts too. And we do caterings and also uh, we do la staff lunches too for the offices. Um, that's basically what we offer. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, I got to say, I mean, as good as your kind of your savory dinner lunch food is, the the baked goods are really kind of stand out uh, the times I've been to Olive Tree. And I love, as you say, they're they're all homemade kind of right there. So, yes. and, and, and if I remember right, it's not just Greek kind of desserts. You kind of make lots of cool stuff, don't you? Yes, we do make a lot of stuff. Like uh, most of the items are made in-house. Yeah. Uh, like it's really healthy. Uh, our sauces are like something exceptional. Uh uh, like tzatziki sauce and sweet sauce and uh, our donors, people love our donors. Uh, I have been seeing like the customers for, um, I worked for Olive Tree for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And I've been like seeing the same customers for like five years coming for the same food. <laughs> <they love. laughs> it's amazing how someone they can like, they could just like your place, but they're like, man, when I've got my favorite, I just want that over and over. Yes, right? yes, most of the time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, let's talk a bit about your journey. I mean, we were talking just before we uh, got on here. You actually took over ownership of this about, uh, I guess, last year it was, uh, yes. right? So, and you've worked for Olive Tree for a while. What kind of made you say, I think I want to own this place rather than just work for, manage it, whatever you were doing before. When did that turn for you? Uh, it's basically um, my family owned the business before. Like mm -hmm. they took over this business in 2018 and then they ran the business for about uh, four years. Mm -hmm. And then I was there since the start and I have seen, uh, seen all the uh, transition and I, I was through the process when they made changes and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, that actually really inspired me. Uh, to own a business and my family is really uh, supportive to do uh, to encourage me doing stuff too so mm -hmm. uh, and the most the main thing that interested me is the food that it's been like five years I've been eating the food and I know many of the friends and as I told you uh, the customers that I have been like seeing they are like regular customers they come like one to two three times regularly to Olive Tree for their food mm -hmm. lunch or dinner um so it never we never get tired of that food so that's basically what interested me to take over that particular restaurant yeah it's uh something that that crave for yeah so, so, yeah. so it's kind of like you really enjoy the community that your family and the regulars and the people who come into the olive tree yes that you've helped and you've been a part of establishing over your time there and and over even as you said kind of previous owners and previous uh people who own the restaurant eh? yes yeah. right yeah arathi are you do you cook yourself are you part of that process or are you more of the management side of the business if you don't mind me asking um so as I told you, I worked in the business for uh, about like four years. Yeah. And uh, when my family took over the business, uh, I was the one who started to get trained. It first, for, for, I was the first person I to see. get trained for all the menu items and everything. So I was the uh, main person who was cooking there oh, okay. uh, for a very long time. Mm -hmm. uh, now I mostly focus on doing the managing and stuff. And then when there is a catering, so I'm there. I'm the one who makes the cake now. Mm -hmm. uh, the old owner, they still help us when when they need uh, when we need them. Mm -hmm. So they are open <laughs> anytime when we need help and stuff. So that's good. Uh, so I know all kind of cooking. That's 
going in going on at olive tree mm -hmm. but it, mostly i manage stuff now i see yeah. now i have to ask kind of your background even before you were working and owning the olive tree i mean were you are you a cook by trade is cooking something you've always enjoyed and and in a similar vein were you you know when you were younger did you say i'd, I'd really like to work for myself one day and maybe own a business or is that just something that kind of presented itself as you said an opportunity that you grasped and it wasn't maybe a dream of yours all the time you know what i mean uh, I actually came here in 2016 yeah. as a student. Um, so basically, uh, I started working in kitchen yeah. uh, since 2016. And um, I never had a d dream of like cooking or something. It was nothing passionate because this is where I started cooking. Because yeah. when I came here, I was by myself. So I had to cook for myself. So I, ha I always had passion. I was like so criticizing about the food <laughs> <laughs> i always love to eat yeah uh, and my family loves always loves to eat too so we are like more of a critic of the food mm -hmm. uh, and then it gradually like the work experience was like continuously in the food restaurant uh business mm -hmm. so gradually i came into that <laughs> <laughs> uh so it, it's been like eight years I've been here. So that's when I started cooking. Uh, but it was always a dream for me to uh, own something, like do something for myself, mm -hmm. uh, to build uh, something uh, that's us mm -hmm. and uh, do something for ourselves. It's uh, more than something. It's your, more than something that you give to others, right? Like Absolutely. for other businesses, build to yourself. So mm -hmm. uh, owning a business was always a dream. Yes. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, I know you've. Uh, we were talking about the menus, so I'm sure anyone listening right now or watching is just like me. I'm pretty hungry, and I'm thinking about lunch and dinner now. So, uh, tell us when you're open at Olive Tree. When we can stop by and uh, sample some of the, uh, you know, the the lunch, the dinner, the desserts uh, that you've got uh, uh, available. Yes, uh, we are open uh, weekdays from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have like dine-in, takeout, pickup delivery our own delivery services mm -hmm. and we are partnered with uh doordash skip uber eats uh skip the dishes and yeah. uh, those delivery uh, services too uh so you can order there either or come in and have a dining experience with us or do takeouts when you're busy um and weekends we are open from 12 uh p.m to 10 p.m mm -hmm. uh yeah just come by anytime uh when you're hungry <laughs> and it's just nearby from your office especially that's right yeah just really just like a block away not even actually 101 20 100th street is the location of olive tree mediterranean grill you should go by uh, have some lunch there uh today arafi thank you so much for coming by and telling us a bit about olive tree mediterranean grill i'm really appreciative that you made the time for us today thank you so much and i would also love to say that uh people who are watching this show uh just come by to olive tree and have 20 percentage off use oh. the code moose fm until this weekend uh march 17th okay so yes. we'll say that again just in case you didn't hear uh come in say hey i saw this on moose fm and you'll get 20 percent off your uh, order until the 17th of march over at olive tree mediterranean grill so that's uh, that's very wonderful arathi thanks for doing that and again thank you so much for being here i really appreciate your time thank you and this is such a wonderful opportunity for uh small businesses like us to talk about what we do <laughs> <laughs> you're very welcome all right uh of course you can always um uh, watch previous episodes of Vocal for Local over on the Moose FM Facebook page. Join us next Thursday for the next edition of Vocal for Local, brought to you by the Fort St. John Co-op. If you have a small business and would like to be featured for free, call us at 787-7100 or email reception at moosefm.ca.